All right, Celine, thank you. And we now turn things over to Leslie Valle, who was also at the scene after the crash. She spoke with a few people who saw the crash happen and even one person who jumped in to help. All of a sudden we heard like a bang and then um, saw the truck coming through backwards and everybody started screaming. They didn't know if it was a shooting. They didn't know if it was a fight. They just heard a big old bang and everybody just started running. I seen a couple bodies underneath. A Christmas wonderland turned into a gruesome scene. The area of 21st Street and 8th Street would become the scene of a violent crash. Multiple parade goers told eyewitness news a driver of a white pickup truck parked at the corner of the intersection allegedly crashed into several people. Several parade goers told eyewitness news the driver tried Tried to get out of the Today Cleaners parking lot and reverse into the crowd. He went through the crowd, the first crowd, and then took some people with him as he went through the street and then went through the second crowd before he hit the brick wall. Casey Pelzer is one of the many people who saw the incident and went in to help one of the injured. He was awake and he was asking like what happened and what hit me and um, was saying there was something in his foot and because his foot was broken. She even saw the driver of the pickup truck. And when he hit the wall, he was grabbing his head like he was you know what I mean? Just, to, yeah, just like panicked. So Misty Cole, like, oh, who owns Poppy's Pastrami and more, no says like her pop-up truck was can't. parked right where the white pickup truck was and was impacted by the crash. She says she saw everything and still can't believe what happened. There, look at the little chairs. There was little kids outside, man. Cole says many people were claiming they saw the driver acting erratic before the crash and she couldn't believe after the situation, city officials continued with the parade. Three people just got hurt. There's a truck into a wall over there, and a lot of people are starting to, I just don't, I, I think that at this point, for consideration for the people that got hit, I, I think they should have canceled the parade. And after I spoke to Cole, there were others that I had also spoken with that also said the parade should have just stopped. Now, I did take the time to walk into where the parade was, where they had actually moved it, and it looked like a lot of people were just still celebrating, maybe not even knowing what had happened. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Leslie Valle, Eyewitness News.